Canine Society Championship Dog Show 2011, held here at a very wet and windy county showground in Stafford. During the next hour, we'll have coverage of the seven groups plus best in show, and we'll be speaking to judges, winners, and have expert opinion from our canine specialists. It's the turn of the toy and utility groups. So we're going to see breeds such as the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Chihuahua, the Dalmatian and the Standard Poodle. Now let's head over to the main ring and see the winners of the utility group. Let's hear your appreciation for this. The eight breeds that are being considered for the group. The Standard Poodle, the Akita, the Dalmatian, the Kieshund, the Tibetan Terrier, the Lars and the Shih Tzu, and the Bulldog. Our judge is asking for the boards to be brought into the ring. We are waiting to hear the final decision of Mrs. Cartilage. The standard poodle has won the utility group. Group two will go to the Akita. Group three will go to the Shih Tzu. And group four. Oh, sorry, the Laza. And group four to the Dalmatian. Can we ask you please to do a lap of honor? The Standard Poodle, the Akita, the Lazarazzo, and the Dalmatian. Utility Group winner at Midland County's Championship Dog Show 2011 was the standard poodle called Dino. And I'm delighted to be joined by the Utility Group judge, Liz Cartilage. Now, I saw you shudder in the ring when that dog went round in those final positions. It really caught your eye, didn't it? It certainly did, and it wasn't because I was cold, it was because I find him such an exciting dog. I've liked quite a lot of standard poodles over the years, but I think he's very, very special. Now, this particular dog actually um, won Best in Show under Liz Cartledge earlier in the year as well. But we are joined by our show reporter, Bonnie Skugel, who actually is going to tell us a little bit about the rest of the breeds in the utility group today. There was a few top winners in there. Well, yes, certainly. I mean, as we've just said, there's Dino, who's had a couple of Best in Show wins. In fact, I reported at the show at Welsh Kennel when he got his first Best in Show. Right through to the little Boston Terrier, who uh, only 13 months old, was winning his first CC. We had a number of new champions made up, including the Akita. Now, for the breeders at the Redwich Kennel, that's the fourth title holder they've got this year, and they've had tremendous success over the years. So, yes, it was a 
terrific group. A very exciting group. There's a lot of top winners in there. And the one that topped them all was Dino, the standard poodle, and Jason Lynn, the owner handler. Um, it's another big win for you, but you've had several successes like this earlier this year. Yeah, we've had a fantastic year. I obviously can't complain whatsoever. He's, he's done his end of the deal. He always gives 100%, and he's just a pleasure to, to show and to live with. Thank you very much, Jason. Good luck for Best in Show on Sunday. Thank you. Well, that about just sums it up from the utility group. We'll now go and take a look at the winners from the toy group. Well, appreciation for the Bichon Frise. The English Toy Terrier. The Italian Greyhound. Japanese chin. The Maltese. The miniature pizza. And finally, the Pomeranian. Mallard has called for the boards to be brought into the ring. And the winner of the toy group is... The Bichon Frise. Group 2, the Pomeranian. Group 3. Group four, the Maltese. Our congratulations to the remainder of the best of breeds leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for our judge, Mr. Stuart Mallard, and all of our breeds, our group finalists. Toy Group winner of Midland County's Championship Dog Show 2011 was Eric the Bichon Frise.
Now the judge, Stuart Mallard, is actually judging Best in Show. So what we're going to do is go straight to our resident expert, Bonnie, to explain a little bit about some of the winners in the toy group today. It was a nice lineup, and the last four were fantastic, weren't they? Oh, it was absolutely wonderful. And Eric is, in fact, the top dog all breeds at the moment. So he's well known by everyone. There were a lot of group winning the POM. That's had a best in show. The Maltese has won groups. The Smooth Coat Two Hours won groups. And it was actually quite interesting mentioning the Maltese. They only had a single ticket to compete for at this show here. So he did win the only ticket that was available. So yes, it was a very interesting group. Very nice group indeed. And to top all of those lovely dogs in the toy group was Eric, this gorgeous Bichon Frise, who is currently the leader, the top dog in the UK at the moment. Now, that win surely puts you ahead a little bit further till yeah. the end of the year? Yes, it does. It gives another five points. <laughs> it's all about points. So I think, if I've worked it out correctly, we're 26 points ahead. So, and there's uh, this show and the LKA left, and that's, that's be it then. So. It's exciting times then. Well, it's exciting, but it's a lot of pressure and uh, stress and sleepless nights and. <laughs> crazy things really. Well, good luck to Eric on Sunday. There we have it, it's the end of day one of Midland County's Championship Dog Show, the end of the utility and toy groups. We'll be back after the break. Welcome back to a much brighter Midland County's Championship Dog Show. Today it's Gun Dog Day. So let's go and take a look at the main ring and follow Frank Kane's group judging. The English setter. <laughs> the German shorthead pointer. The Irish red and white setter. The Irish setter. The Italian Spinelli. The American Papa Spaniel. The Clumber Spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel. The English Springer Spaniel. The Welsh Springer Spaniel. Vimarana. And finally the Labrador Retriever. The Italians belong it. The Vimrana is group three. The Clumber Spaniel is group four. Congratulations to all of our other best of breeds who were in the ring. And our thanks to the judge, Mr. Frank Kane. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for the winner of the Gunlock Group 2011. The English winner is the winner. And we'll return him here 
The Gun Dog Group winner at Midland County's Championship Dog Show was the English Springer Spaniel known as Roxy. Now I'm joined by the judge who's going to be our expert today as well. Just first of all Frank, now fit for function is very important in breeds nowadays. It's been emphasised a lot. Did you see a lot of that demonstrated in this group today? Actually it was a very strong group um, and all of my top winners and all of the final lineup were all excellent movers and look as though they could do a day's work which is why the breeds were bred in the first place. Now your group one winner was the English Springer Spaniel and it's actually seven years old so it shows that there's longevity in these gun dog breeds. It also shows the lasting quality and health of many pedi pe pedigree breeds and it was just a wonderful example of the lasting quality. Seven years which makes it a veteran but still going well and, and fit enough and moving well enough to beat the rest. Now Sarah Corbett is the owner and handler of this lovely English Springer Spaniel. Now I understand Sarah that you were actually going to retire her last year at this very show. What made you change your mind? My mum. <laughs> <laughs> My mum. No, she's still got lots in her. She's a brilliant dog. I'll She's not ready to retire. She shows that she's not ready to retire yet, so she's still got more in her, even though she's won a lot. <laughs> well, very many congratulations and best of luck for the Sunday final, which of course is in a couple of days' time, but we've got the working and pastoral hound and terrier groups to still go. You've called, lad. You've been out one of them bloody groups. Your appreciation for the Belgian Shepherd Dog, the Bernardi. The Old English Sheepdog. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. The Samoyed. German Shepherd Dog. The Shepherd Sheepdog. Mr. Mallard has called for the cards to be brought into the middle of the ring. And now we await the decision of who will be the winner. And it's the Machine. Group two is the shelter. The Samoyed is group number three. And the German Shepherd Dog is group number four. Our congratulations also to the two breeds that are now the winner. Very special moment for us all. Well, the Old English Sheepdog has topped the pastoral group here at Midland Counties 2011. Andrew Brace, our expert on the panel all four days. Now, tell us about the pastoral group. It used to be a much bigger group and it was called something else, wasn't it? Well, we once had a very, very large working group which contained all the breeds that are now in the pastoral group. And when the group was split, it was essentially um, and simply cut into the breeds that were herding breeds, which then formed the current pastoral group, and then the other breeds that do various other jobs of work. Well, I'm joined by the winning owner of this lovely Old English Sheepdog, Christina Bailey. Now, I understand that um, a great-grandson of this dog? No, great-grandsire. Oh, great-grandsire actually went best in show here at Midland Counties in 91. Yes, yes. It was Lamida Sotl's Flamboyant, which is a dog I bred as well. And uh, he, in that year, was top dog all breeds, and the following year as well. And this Curtis is obviously next generation on um, and doing your proud abroad as well. Yes, yeah. He's been shown uh, several times abroad and been very, very lucky to win every time. 
Thank you very much. Good luck for Best in Show. Now let's go over to the main ring and find out the winners and the shortlist from the Hound Group. Going around now we have the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Wolfhound, the Pharaoh Hound, the Saluki, the Whippet, the Bazenji. The Petit Classical from Rondien, the long haired Daxon, and the Mini Smooth. Show your appreciation for the best of bits that will leave in the ring and we have remaining in the ring. The Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Pharaoh Hound, the Basset Hope du Baratin, the Petite Basset Greffon Vendienne and the Long Hair Decision. The winner of the Hound Group is the long haired Daxon. <laughs> Group 2, the Petite Passé Greffon Vendien. The Rhodesian Ridgeback, Group 3. And the Basset Faux de Baratin is Group 4. Our congratulations to the two beats leaving the ring. And can we ask for a lap of honour from our winner and Group 2, 3 and 4, please. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for our Hound Group finalists. Winner of the Hound Group at Midland Counties Championship Dog Show 2011 was the long-haired Dachshund. Now I'm delighted to be joined by the Hound Group judge Liz Cartledge. That looked like quite a popular choice. Well, he had a lot of loud fans, but I also thought he was a nice winner. It was close between him and the, and the PBGV who was second, but he did the business. Thank you very much. Now, our Andrew Brace, our expert on the panel over these few days. Um, the Hound Group looks um, like a, a, a group with a lot of variety of breeds in there. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, of course, interestingly, in countries that are governed by the FCI, which is the umbrella organisation that covers Europe and lots of other countries in the world, our Hound Group actually contains three FCI groups, because in FCI countries you have the Dachshund Group, the Scent Hound Group, and the Sightown group, whereas in this country, of course, we have those three groups all rolled into one big group. So, of course, yes, there is considerable variety. Well, the winner of this hound group was Logan, the long-haired Dax, and I'm delighted to be joined by Emily Mitchell, the owner. You look rather surprised in there. Yes, very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but you're no stranger to winning the group, because he's won a group before. Yeah, he won his first group when he was a puppy, um, and this is his second time he's ever won a group, so thrilled to bits. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, that is the conclusion of the hound group, but we'll be back after the break to see the winners of the terrier and working groups. Welcome back to Midland Counties Championship Dog Show 2011. Well, we've seen five exciting groups judged here in the beautiful Staffordshire countryside. 
but it's not over yet. We've still got the working and terrier groups, plus best in show still to come. But first, we managed to catch up with Robert Greaves, Chairman of Midland Counties. Now, Robert, it's been a long four days for you, but has Midland Counties been a success this year? Yes, it has indeed been a great success. We're very pleased with the entry. It's only shown a very slight decrease on previous years, which for the whole show scene has been really good, really pleased with it. Had some fantastic record-breaking entries in some of the breeds this year. Really good panel of overseas judges as well, so we're very pleased. We have a very good show team looking after the show, and that's what makes it enjoyable for the exhibitors and ourselves. So yes, indeed, a great success. Well, thank you very much, Robert. Let's go now to the main ring to see the conclusion of the Terrier Group. The Australian Terrier. The Mini Bull Terrier. The Dandy Dinmont. The Irish Terrier. The Norwich Terrier and the Parson Russell Terrier. The Welsh Terrier and the Sky Terrier. There you have eight remaining in the ring. Another chance, ladies and gentlemen, for you to show your appreciation for these eight terriers competing for the title. Boards are being called for, the decision has been made. The winner of the Terrier Group Midland Counties 2011 is the Irish Terrier. Group 2. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Group 3. The Australian Terrier. Group number 4. The Welsh Terrier. Our thanks to the other best of breeds. Well done and congratulations for your best of breed. And now the rosettes will be presented by the judge. Rudy Hugenthal, can we ask you to do a lap of honour now, please? Your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, for our group finalists. Terrier Group winner at Midland Counties 2011 was the Irish Terrier, called Fenn. We'll talk to him in a moment, but first of all, we've got the judge, Rudy Hubendal. Now, where are you from, Rudy, first of all? From Norway. Oh, fantastic. So you've come a long way. What did you think of your group today? Oh, I think, uh, first of all, it is uh, an honour for me to do the Terrier Group in England with all, almost only English breeds. So I'm not a Terrier person either, so I think it's very nice. I think it's another honor. And uh, I think I had a very nice lineup with uh, at least eight, which I uh, uh, shortlisted here. And uh, I, had, uh, I was very pleased with uh, my winners. And of course, the Irish Terrier. I really love the, the way of he show himself and he is curious all the time, looking for Absolutely. everything. <laughs> so, no, I'm very pleased with him. That's fantastic. Now, Andrew Brace, our expert over these few days. Now, is there a f um, families of groups of dogs in the Terrier group, like other groups? 
Yeah, basically to simplify things, you have the short-legged terriers, the long-legged terriers, and there's almost like a little family of, of bull-related terriers. Um, and of course, the winner tonight is, is one of the longer-legged terriers, the Irish. Now, this Irish terrier called Fen is handled by John Averis. Hello there, John. Now, fabulous breed. It looks absolutely stunning in there. He's a real showman, this one. Yeah, he's a natural. He just loves to do it. And, and how much has he actually won this year, then? He's had quite a few wins, a few best in show, so I'm thrilled with his results. Thank you very much, John. Well done to Fen. So, let's go and find out who is going to be our final group winner to the working group. Your appreciation for the Bouvier de Flandre. <laughs> the Siberian Husky. The Saint Bernard. <laughs> the Doberman. The Bernese Mountain Dog. The Boxer. The new founder. <laughs> I think you should show your appreciation for these seven dogs, ladies and gentlemen, that have all performed all day and have now done their best because they are each looking for the title of the working group. The boards are being called from. And the winner of the working group is the Bouvier de Flandre. Group two, the boxer. Group 3, the St. Bernard. Group 4, the Siberian Husky. Our congratulations to the remainder leaving the ring for having their best of breeds at Midland Counties. Your appreciation for the Bouvier de Flandre, the winner of the working group 2011. Group 2, the Boxer. Group 3, the St. Bernard. Group 4, the Siberian Husky. Congratulations to you all. So 
the winner of this year's working group was the Bouvier de Flandre. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, but um, what other sort of breeds is the judge looking for in this working group then, Andrew? Well, the working group has quite a wide cross-section, but essentially all the breeds in the working group, now that we've separated from, from obviously the pastoral breeds, um, they are, generally speaking, substantial dogs, very sound moving, and above all, they must have really strong temperaments to do the kind of job that they were originally developed for. Well, the Group 1 winner was the Bouvier de Flandre. I'm joined by Fiona Lambert and Dave Killerly. Now, this is an absolutely stunning looking dog. It has an intrigue, really fascinating looking coat as well. Um, what's particularly the thing that you'd be looking for um, as a judge and, and why do you love this one so much? Well, I'm not a judge. I'm just a, a very delighted owner. <laughs> but uh, we particularly like him because just, he just says Bouvier. I mean, he's got a fabulous harsh coat, double coat and he's got the most magnificent headpiece. Um, and I'm just, I've had them for 20, oh, six, seven years now, and uh, I just think he's stunning. He's absolutely stunning, and uh, his movement is just to die for. Absolutely, and we'll hopefully be seeing him in Best in Show very, very shortly. Um, the Bouvier de Flandre joins the six other group winners for the Best in Show lineup, which Stuart Mallard is our judge for this year's final. We now, ladies and gentlemen, come to the climax of four days. The decision of Best in Show Midland Counties 2011. Again, please welcome our Best in Show judge, Mr Stuart Mallard. First into the ring today is the winner of the utility group on the first day, the Standard Poodle. And the Bichon Frise, the winner of the Toy Group. The Gum Dog Group winner, the English Springer. Followed by the winner of the Pastoral Group, the Old English Sheep Dog. And the Hound Group winner was the Long Haired Dachshund. The Irish Terrier is the Terrier Group winner from today, followed by the Working Group winner, the Bouvier de Flandre. <laughs> there, ladies and gentlemen, before you, seven lovely group winners. Show your appreciation and give your encouragement for who you would like to be best in show, Middle Encounters 2011. The utility group winner, the Standard Poodle. <laughs> Exhibit number 2055. The Standard Poodle winner of the utility group. Toy Group winner, the Bichon Frise, exhibit number 860. 60, the Toy Group winner. <coughs>
They too, the Gundog winner, the English Springer, exhibit 4092. The English Springer Spaniel, winner of the Gundog group. The pastoral winner, the Old English Sheepdog, exhibit number 6317. Six, the Old English Sheepdog, winner of the pastoral group. From day three, the Hound Group winner, the Long Haired Dachshund, exhibit number 4789. 4789, the Hound Group winner. Today's Terrier Group winner, the Irish Terrier, exhibit number 8229. The working group winner, the Bouvier de Flandre, exhibit number 7856. <laughs> Best in Show 2011 at Midland Counties is the Standard Poodle. The Bouvier de Flandre is the reserve best in show. Our congratulations to the remaining group winners. The Bichon Frise, the English Springer, the Old English Sheepdog, the Long-Haired Dachshund, and the Irish Terrier. And let's hear it for our best in show, the Standard Poodle, and the reserve best in show, the Bouvier de Flandre. 
Ladies and gentlemen, can we see our best in show and reserve best in show going around for your pleasure. The winner, best in show 2011 in Midland Counties, the Standard Poodle. And the reserve best in show, the Bouvier de Flandre. So the Bouvier de Flandre, the winner on the final day of the working group, went on to win reserve best in show under Stuart Mallard. We've got the huge rosette here. Congratulations, <laughs> Fiona. Now the handler, Dave Killerly. Um, was that a particular special win for you today? Yes, very special win today. Reserve best in show under what must be one of the top breed specialists in the country doing the best in show, so it was extra special. Any more shows this year for this no, dog? he's off to uh, Holland now for the next few shows. Oh, very and exciting. Come back next year. Oh, well, that's brilliant. And only two. Only two. Well, that's absolutely great. Thank you very much for staying to talk to us. Reserve best in show was the Bouvier de Flandre. Thank you. So, best in show at Midland County's Championship Dog Show 2011 was the standard poodle called Dino. Now, Jason Lynn, the owner handler, I understand this is a bit of a special win because there was another dog that you've bred that actually won here several years ago. Uh, yes, actually it was Dino's grandfather, um, a white standard poodle called Donnie. Uh, he was best in show here in 2008 and Dino's his grandson, so it's, it makes it ex extra special, really. Absolutely. Well, many, many congratulations. Thank That's you. absolutely fantastic. Well, we are now joined by Stuart Mallard, who was today's judge. Now, I understand that you haven't been well lately. Was it good to be back in the, the big ring today? Oh, excellent. Absolutely fabulous. And I've had a great time. I thought I had seven excellent representatives for their parades, and um, it really just came down to performance and really personal choice and all that sort of thing. That dog is in superb condition and just pips the booby, I thought. It's lovely. But I did love the seven dogs I had at the end. Thank you very much, Stuart, for that. Well, yeah. that just about wraps things up for Midland County's Championship Dog Show at 2011. The best in show went to the standard poodle called Dino and reserve was the Bouvier de Flandre. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.